Hello, it is HBT and I am here for more ABL fun and today I'm facing Good Game Glen and I'm not really sure how this is going to go. Uh, I'm currently at 2 and 1 um, and that's 2 and 1 in losses. I lost last week um, and as we can see this is my team. I've gone with my um, Porygon 2, I've gone with Snorlax, Amoongus, uh, Primarina uh, Volcarona and my Aero the Bat in my Ludala. He has got the uh, Melmetal, the Indeedy Female, um, the Alcremie, the Drudgegon, Flygon and Dusclops. Um, I was wondering and I was panicking, is he going to go with the Indeedy and his Hatterene combination which he has? Um, and he decided to bring the Alcremie. Uh, I've never seen Flygon and I've never seen Drudgegon so it's great to see them. It's actually great to see them in the competitive field. My main worry is that Melmetal, uh, and I need to make sure I do everything I can to protect um, my good old Louis Spence, my Volcarona, because that is going to be the key. Uh, Melmetal has horrendous, horrendous special defense, but amazing, amazing bulk. So I've got to do everything I can to get rid of it. Um, if I get this, it takes me to two all, um, with the Dynamic Shuffle coming next week. Uh, I think I, even if I do win this, I think I'm going to be in the bottle, in the bottle, in the bottom. So here we go. It's good, good game, Glenn. It's actually good gamer, Glenn. I do wish him all the best. Um, as always, I'm recording this thing, seemingly not at the real time. I'm doing this afterwards just, just because the way I've been able, I'm unable to actually do the recording at the same time. So he sends out the dust clops and indeedy. I wasn't sure what he was going for at this point. I did think he was going to try and set the trick room up um, because it looks set up for that. Like, there's Indeedy and Duskops are more supportive monsters. So I see the both of them together. And I was thinking, oh, if he's going to bring out the trick room, I can play with that a little bit. My team is usually set up for trick room. So the Psychic Surge comes out, which I was planning, I thought he was going to do with the Hatterene and Indeedy set. Um, so I actually had a Psychic Seed just to give the um, my uh, Volcron a bit more bulk. That was my overall plan. I thought, well, let's see how much damage I can do to, to, to two of these. Is he, he going to let me do... I thought maybe I can get a Quiver Dance off just to get some more bulk up. I should have been thinking at the same time, maybe not. Maybe he is just going to go for a Trick Room. Uh, he goes for a Light Screen. and um, That's going to stop the Special Attacks. That's just probably the smart thing to do. Quiver Dance comes up, so that's going to give me a plus one in my Attack, Special Attack, and Speed. Uh, I'm going to get some damage off with the Primarina. And the Hyper Voice, so it's going to be a water move going on. And it doesn't do that much damage at all. And I'm thinking, hmm, bagger. But the reason why I thought I'll just go with it, because he's got Trick Room. And if he's going to keep both Pokemon out, then I'm going to be able to at least hit something. Because really, they're not the attacking best attacking Mons. I do know Dusclops has got Nightshade. I do know it's, it runs um, Splits, Pain Split. But this isn't really the time to use Plane Split as your health is quite high. Uh, it's probably going to use Nightshade if anything else. I was also worried about Expanding Force coming from that Indeedy. But again, these are both support mons. So at the same time, I was thinking, what, what have they got planned? What has he got planned in mind? No Hatterene. Um, so I wasn't really thinking, well, where's it, where's he going to be going with this? Um, so I thought, you know what, just go for it. Go for the attack. Um, your Falcron is going to be in a pretty safe position. Or so I thought. I thought I should be okay. And I thought the main threat he might go for the original was a Prime Mania. But now with the Quiver Dance, my special attack is up one. But also with having my special defense up one, I'm going to be a little more bulkier. Um, so I'm going to be able to take anything he throws at me. But obviously Nightshade is a fixed damage move. So that's going to be doing 50 damage. And I thought, look, I've got 142. Moonblast coming from non-aerial. And uh, that was going to go into the Indeed. Because I wanted to try and just get it off the field as much as I could. Get that off the field was a big thing. So here is the Expanding Force. Which gets a 50% boost because of the terrain. But it actually doesn't really do that much damage at all. And there's the Bug Buzz. And the Bug Buzz was simply just for that. And it's off the field. I just wanted that off for get rid of Indeed. Uh, and that is job done. Anything else is a bonus. Uh, because indeed, my original plan uses Helping Hand. It's really a pain in our support mon. And it's gone. Well, that was the main thing. It's gone. Dusclops on its own is not really a threat. It is just a, is a pain in our when it's got other people. Because it's got moves like Ally Switch. I should know I had one last season. And I fell in love with him. I couldn't grab him this year. I was really upset I couldn't get him. I had to kind of have what I had. Uh, he brings out the Mel Metal. And I was worried about this. Because I thought that thing is going to have Rock Slide. There is no way. It's not going to have Rock Slide, and I need to get Volcarona out of there. Uh, I need to save Volcarona. It is literally the key, and the Trick Room is going to be here for a long time. Um, and I thought if I mess around, I could probably waste one turn of his Trick Room, and that was the plan. So that's why I went for Door Protect. Um, waste it, get rid of it, and the Trick Room is, once the Trick Room is gone, 
Um, oh, sorry, I didn't use double trick room, did I? Um, because I thought he's going to go after the Volcarona and also the, the Primarunia. No, apologies, he's going to go after the Volcarona. I wanted just to see what he was going to do if he did have the Rock Slide, and he did. And that meant there was the end of Not Aerial, which I was kind of thinking, look, Not Aerial's not really suited to this match. I know I could have used it for the Drudgeon and the Flygon, so that was in the back of my mind. It was a bit annoying. But at the same time, I look, look who I've got. I have Pokemon that are much slower. And I'm now in a situation where I can bring in Fungi and put that thing to sleep. Hope to God it doesn't use Ally Switch. This was the little thing that was going on in the back of my mind. Please do not use Ally Switch. I thought if you use Ally Switch, I'm in such trouble. Uh, if you don't use Ally Switch, I'm fine. I'm golden. Because my Fungi was going to go first. And if that happened, unless he had something like a Lumberry, which I didn't think he was going to run. Uh, this is a huge gamble on my part. Because all he had to do here is run Ally Switch, and as you can tell by my talking, he does not run Ally Switch. Uh, and I can only put one Pokemon asleep at a time. That's the battle rules we're playing. There are sleep causes in this in this game. Um, so the Will O Wisp comes out, which I was really not understanding why he decided to use Will O Wisp. Uh, it's not really that sort of game, and obviously it's telling me he hasn't got Ally Switch. Uh, Fungi does use Sports 100% of the time to get him attack. Obviously, I'm, not, I'm a bit quieter than normal because the baby's asleep. Simple as that. Um, so I've now got Mel Metal that's going to be hit by a plus one heat wave. If it hits, and it does, it gets both Pokemon, which can do so much damage to Mel Metal. As we can see, look, it's done a chunk already. Um, Dusclops is going to be getting a little bit off. And I'm in a position now where I can just kind of think, right, is that kind of thing going to fall asleep? Um, stay asleep. For, it's, got to, it's got to sleep. It has to sleep for at least one turn, which it's done. Um, and then I use Rage Powder, but at the same time, that was just to make sure that the Dusclops didn't do anything. But I also had to think, I need to get rid of this Trick Room. Trick Room is the key. I need that off the field. He drives to a draw with Mel Metal, which was the smart play. And he brings out Drudgeon. Uh, now, at the time, I wasn't sure what moveset this thing was going to have. Um, because I've never fought a Drudgeon. I do love Drudgeon. Don't get me wrong. It's all my favorite Pokemon. And when I saw it in Platinum... Sorry, in white and black, I was like, I am using that thing. It is absolutely fantastic and beautiful. Um, just unfortunately, it's not really been up there. I do think it needs an evolution of some sort to really get it up there and to be more, more competitive. Uh, Nightshade goes on to Fungi. Not really doing too much at the moment, but the light screen's off. As we saw, that if that light screen wasn't in place, that probably would have been the end of Mel Metal. At this stage, I'm thinking, what has that Drudgeon got? I hadn't done any research into it because I was never expecting it to come. Um, so I went for the Rage Powder, uh, and I, thought, I was just kind of trying to back and forth, what should I really do? Um, but I was kind of worried about the Dust Clops more than the Drudgeon, and as you'll see, that's not really what I should be doing. But he goes to the Protect, which, again, I wasn't sure about what he was going to be doing. I couldn't put the thing in sleep. Uh, I didn't have anything that could really knock out the Drudgeon. Uh, being the Inner Dragon type, and I go for the uh, Heat Wave, which is a ton of damage. Pollen Puff is actually, don't even think, is so weak, it doesn't get the kill. Um, but he uses Trick Room again, and I get, oh, fudge, what have I done? That was, that, I think that's what I was, um, I was wondering if Pollen Puff was going to be enough. Clearly it wasn't, and maybe I should have put Sludge Bomb in there instead. Uh, but at the same time, Pollen Puff can be used to heal your own Mon. I think if I had Sludge Bomb, that would have been enough. Um, again, this is going back to what I was thinking. I thought I'd be fine. So I went with a Rage Powder, thinking there was going to be a move going on to the Volcarona. Um, as you can see, another Nightshade's going on, which my little Toad can take. As you can see what's kicking in, I've got a Berry. because it's, it's so bulky, although fair enough, as I've said earlier, Nightshade is a fixed battle move. So a fixed point move is not what I can do. And here came a Rock Slide. I was like, oh god, it holds Rock Slide. And I knew that was the end of Louis Spence. There was no way it was surviving that. It was dead. Uh, even a critical hit didn't matter. It would have died. It's four times weak to Rock. Uh, I just didn't know the Drudgeon had it. And I was thinking, right, that's bugger because I've not got rid of Mel Metal. Mel Metal is still on the field. Um, and I was also down two Pokemon. He only lost one. And uh, at the moment, he was one up. Uh, I'm thinking, what am I going to do at this point? Um, but he has got two. He has got one weakened Pokemon in the form of Dusclops. And the fact that anyone I probably throw out, if I did throw out my Snorlax, it was going to be the fastest on the field. And I could probably get rid of it. And uh, that was the plan. Get rid of the Drudgeon. Because Dusclops, I don't think it's had used Ally Switch. I hadn't seen it use Ally Switch. Uh, but I need to make sure that Drudgeon had not got anything like close combat or any fighting move because it would have been a right pain in the backside. And it probably would have got rid of our good friend Katie. Uh, and I say good friend, I mean my sister-in-law. She knows her called it, Katie. I just hate her. I love her to pieces, really. So I'm kind of thinking to myself, what do I do? I'm now thinking that Drudgeon does have a fighting move. Um, and I'm running a gamble. I'm running a huge gamble by using Belly Drum. Um, but I thought, is it going to be able to finish it off? 
Um, but that's why I use the Rage Powder, so that any fighting moves go into that. Because I thought it goes with Will Wisp, which is fantastic because it knows that. Uh, sorry, this is fantastic because I know if it does get a Will-O-Wisp off, I've got Facade to cover that damage. The Belly Drum goes off, it's going to activate my Berry, um, so I'm at least up to three quarters. But then I'm trying to work out right what has this Drudgegon got? Has it got something like a Fire Punch? Has it got a Fighting Move? And it uses his use Rock Slide again, so it's going to hit both. Um, Snorlax took that quite well. And I thought, right, I'm in an okay situation here. I probably do need to get rid of Fungi. Uh, Fungi will get health, but I was thinking at the same time, well, do we just keep it out? It's done what it needs to do. Snorlax now has plus six um, and can really just destroy life. Uh, I decided to go for a Pollen Puff um, just to give it a little bit more health. Um, and now I think, you know what, any move I use in that Drudgegon is dead. I wasn't particularly worried about the Dusclops. I was going to be going first. Um, and then I thought, you know what, Let's. I just want it off the field. Even the, the I will be faster than Dusclops. There's, there's no way about that. Um, so that's why I've got the Facade there uh, in case the Drudgegon does want to use it. I'm also running out of time. What did I end up going? No, this, this, I haven't watched this back since. Um, I must have done this. Did I go? Yeah, that's why I ended up doing it. I ended up using Rage Powder just to make sure I had it protected. But I decided to use the, the um, Dynamax Steel Spike. And the reason why I went for um, the Max Steel Spike was because the one thing that Snorlax is down on is defense. That's its weakness. It's, it's basically got poor defense. So I thought, well, I can use Max Steel Spike, do a ton of damage at plus six, and probably knock out anything it has. And it's going to get a defense increase. So that's probably the best play I can do at the moment. Because um, that's one thing I've not been using. I've not been using the D Max or the Dynamax moves really as you should. Uh, and that's what Snorlax needs as bulk. I learned that for the game against the Leafeons, so I do lose um, Fungi here, but as far as I'm considered, it's done what it needed to do. That Nightshade wouldn't have done anything, uh, but the Max Steel Spike is going to go on the Drudgegon. Uh, it's going to do a chunk of down. Oh no, sorry, I went for the Dusclops. Why did I go for the Dusclops? I think I just wanted it off the field. I think that was the main thing I just wanted off the field. Ah, that was it, because I wasn't really worried about it. I was more worried about it burning me um, than anything else. And then he uses Super, and I was like, oh, fudge. And it was that just showed it was a really, really, really good thing um, that I did use um, the Max Steel Spike, because that gave me the extra boost. But now I'm also thinking at the same time, well, hang on, that Drudgegon is now minus one defense, so it is definitely going to die, or it's definitely going to switch. So that was the next target. He was still one up on me. I was now down to three Pokemon left, and he was down to four. So I was thinking this match is still not over. Uh, even if I've got Katie in a really good position at the moment, it was going to be the fastest on the field. At least for another turn, I think it was. I think I had one more turn. He does send out the Mel Metal. Um, so I'm thinking, right, that thing's a threat. But then it's asleep. So I sent out Air of the Bat. Um, because of the simple reason, Trick Room's going to be over soon. The Trick Room is going to be over. Uh, and I thought it's going to be able to tank anything that gets thrown, even if it, because I've got the berry on it, the right berry this time, as opposed to the last time when I have the wrong berry. This time I have the dark berry on there to protect that four times um, weakness. Um, and also remember that will take it down to two weakness, and because of its ability, it will just take it down to a weakness. So it is no normal damage, so it's much better. But I thought, right, let's just get rid of the Drudgegon. Uh, with the Mel Metal, I could probably get away with it. But he decides to withdraw that. And I was like, what are you withdrawing into? And then he brings that sweet thing, which I was kind of laughing inside. Because it's going to get hit by a Max Steel Spike. Which simply means, unless that thing's Focus Sashed, he's just lost his Dynamax or G-Max. And it was gone. And I thought, happy days. I'm not facing a Dynamax today. And that's done. And my defense has gone up even more. Um, so I'm now on plus two defense. So if the Mel Metal does wake up, I'm on plus two defense. And in Dynamax, Gigantamax mode. So I'm in a great position at the moment. I thought this match is now going in my favor. And the Mel Metal doesn't wake up. And it's going to get hit by a moon, um, moon. Moon just beam? I can't pronounce that properly. This is, you know, it's still late at night here. I'll be going to bed in a minute. And I thought that is the end of Mel Metal. Again, this goes back to its poor special defense. And it melts away. So literally within one turn, I am now in a fantastic position. I've gone from one being one down to being one up. And he is down to his final two Pokemon being the Drudgegon, and I can't remember who his last Pokemon was uh, off the top of my head. Um, Tiki the Hoenn Champion. Oh, it was the Flygon. I thought, right, this match should be done. Um, I don't see any problems at this point. And um, judging the fact I'm going to have the faster Pokemon on the field uh, in my Lunala. Lunala is fantastic, and although I had actually switched um, Moonblast, I put Psychic in instead. Um, Oh, I'm still in a comfortable position here. I've still got full health, so I'm going to be able to take a smack. And as I said earlier, that no matter what the um, Snorlax gets, goes for, it's going to be able to do some damage. So I decided to go for the G-Max Replenish. That's just in case I get the berry. There's no harm in getting that. Goes for a break and swipe, but does 
nothing. It does lower my attack, I should say, sorry, but only by one stage. And so on, plus five. And there we go, you can see the error of the bat using Moon just being first. And it's going to do an absolute chunk of damage. Because this thing does hit like an absolute truck. It's a signature move. And look how much damage that does. Um, Crunch comes in, and that's why we've got the berry. That's exactly why we've got the berry for this exact reason. Um, takes it. I wasn't at full hit, so essentially it does twice the damage. It's just a normal super effective move. Um, so that would have been near enough. I would have been dead from that crunch. Here comes the Machina Plunge. That goes in to the Lenala. As you can see, the berries are fallen, which means the berries are coming back. And then that actually needs both Pokemon get their berries back. Both of them got them back, which is fantastic. So I get my health back. But it also meant the Lenala got its um, berry back. Um, to resist another crunch and I thought well happy days this match is over and I'm going to be winning this by um, differentiation of three and uh, it was just nice because I'm a bit worried about this I didn't really want to go into the shuffle um, with, a, with a three one down I thought I'll go into this at two two but I don't think I was like looking at the results I was like there's no way uh, even if I did win this unless I won like six nil that I was going to be in the top uh, I'd be going into the bottom tier but as we saw last year with the Copenhagen Hagons it didn't mean it was over uh, and you can still go on even in the bottom divisions you can still go on and win the whole thing uh, so I only wanted to make sure I finish this off uh, Moon just Beam it's not going to kill uh, I do think I need another hit um, oh it does need another hit because I remember after the battle um, Glenn was asking me about he was, couldn't believe the, the berry came in again and I had to explain that yeah it's any berries not just Snorlax's berry but as you can see look how much it saves it and without that berry I was dead 100% that would have been the end of it but I did have and uh, my Porygon, which is a bulky thing, which would have been fine. And the Mac plus five um, is going to finish it off with a heavy slam. And that was that. So happy days. The battle's been won. Uh, I'm now two and all. Two all. Two and all. Two all. Uh, thanks, Glenn. I appreciate that. Make sure you watch his channel as well. And I'll see you all next week where the shuffle's going to be taking place. And until then, I've been HBT, and it's been great to see you all. Bye-bye.